next size up just in case. Now that we have the power wire inside of the vehicle, we can continue wiring up the amplifiers. So the way I had didn't, done this is uh, connected the power wires here, bent them a little bit to uh, fit down this channel, the main power, power wire channel uh, that houses the uh, main BCM power as well, along with the uh, alternator charging wire. Zip tied that down. Uh, the main harness here, ran it around and into the vehicle.
we are now installing a monoblock amplifier in this vehicle and uh so we had put it underneath the passenger seat due to us not wanting to put it in the trunk in this uh current build um, and installation i have already uh ran my power remotes off of my x lock uh 66 and uh ground is already grounded which is right here on these uh hondas the newer ones especially like to use some kind of spacecraft uh grade material and it's really hard to get through you're gonna want a pilot you're gonna want a pilot hole and then set your ground screw or nut cert whatever you guys may use um so let's get it hooked up Okay. Just whenever. So at this time, these are called wire ferrules. What it does is it adds a little piece of metal around the wire um, to lengthen the life of the wire as uh, as well as um making it easier to disconnect and connect in case of servicing or if you're just trying out different amplifiers um, this is a really good way of keeping your wires from graying and or just busting under the pressure uh, from the, the screws tightening down and loosening tightening loosening all that good stuff so we like to use these ferrules um, we don't have any red ones uh right now but feel free to check us out at nvx.com for our wire barrels All right, now that the uh, monoblock is wired up, power and ground, we can um, hook up our RCAs, hang those up, uh, get those nice and straight and even and uh, hidden away. And we are also going to hook up our uh, speaker wire for the subwoofers. Uh, so we're gonna hook that up, uh, run it down the uh, running board into the trunk for our subwoofers. And um, let's get to it.
take a guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But actually, I was not on probation. I was just not trying to talk to him. Now, it's always a great idea to drill a pilot hole, but um, I've been doing this quite a while and I don't feel like I have to. Go from one side directly over to the other. This ensures it's gonna stay put as I go around the woofer. We are now going to install this uh, board underneath the carpet for this amplifier to mount to so it's nice and secure and we just don't drill into the body of the vehicle. That's about all this is for. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Get our shears back in. Great.
All right, now that's all connected. This ain't gonna go nowhere. The board will slide with the carpet a little bit, but she is in there. It's not coming out. But I just keep on coming to <laughs>